Sports. Anticipation is mounting for today's game. We've got two quarterbacks looking to make an impact. It's the Eagles going up against the Patriots. So let's get you up to Foxborough as we check in with our commentators. Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. Thank you very much, Larry. We are here on a beautiful afternoon for football. Coming up, we've got what should prove to be a good one between the Philadelphia Eagles and the New England Patriots. They come out Blue here 90. in the eye. Blue 90. And they'll try the ground game here with the running back. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. And that's the type of play that'll fire up the defense, hold them to one yard on a first down run. It'll be interesting to see if the offense decides to press the run at all or if they'll abandon it now after gaining only one on that play. And after the play on the ground, that brings up second down here. A good pick up there of 20 yards. So many times you hear today's NFL described as a space game. Get your best players into space with the football in their hands. That's why sometimes you just swing it out to your runner, get him out in the flat, and let him have a chance to make people miss an open field. And taking it across midfield and just shy of the 40. It's a pickup of 19. And it'll be first down, Eagles. So the run moves the chains, and here we go on first down. And that's the way to get things started the first time you touch the football on the road. And you have to believe all week long, all they've talked about is, okay, we're into a hostile environment. We're the visiting team. How do we take control of this ball game early? That's one way right there. No fear, guys. And if they had any, it's probably gone after that run. And if this offense is going to flow today, certainly the running back will be a key piece. Without a doubt, because they asked their runner to not just do that, but to block, to catch, to help set a tone for their offense. So the incomplete pass brings up second down. Here. Trying to run inside, but nothing there. And they'll lose a yard that time, and that's going to lead to a third down. To me, that's a superior play by the backer because he was allowed to, I think, run free on it and make that play. His defensive linemen, they covered things down for him because offensive guys, the linemen, what they're trying to do, as you know, is block the guy at the point of attack and then climb to the next level and get the linebacker. When you're not allowed to climb, you got a free hitter, and that's what we saw there. And a really nice play resulted for them. Jordan Matthews, the one he was looking for. And it's fourth down. Well, they went for the big play there, but that drop could really hurt their momentum. 
So on fourth down, the Eagles will call on the left foot of Donnie Jones to punt it away. Back deep, Danny Amendola for New England. And here's a very low line drive, almost whiffed on it. And this one will wind up being down just outside of that 20 yard line. a lot of pub for being that perfect receiver for Tom Brady and the New England Patriots. What's his role going forward? I think his role going forward is to be a bona fide number one receiver in the NFL, meaning he's not just a Tom Brady receiver. He's that guy for anyone. And he spent so much time proving himself as he got into the league, just what you were talking about. Can I have a role here with New England? Now it's not just proving himself, it's continuing to develop in his craft. And I think he's going to just keep getting better and better. He never gave up on himself and his dreams, and he doesn't give up on any single play. See if they stay on the ground for a second down. throw on second down oh. on the crossing route that's caught Julian Edelman 11 yards for number 11 the former seventh round pick Julian Edelman just continues to have such a productive career and has made himself into a receiver remember he was a college quarterback and not just a productive one a very good one at Kent State right yes yeah, a great leader a guy who could make plays with his feet and his arm Got to the NFL and had to convert into being a receiver and was drafted that way. And that conversion, oh boy, it's been good. That was Gary for Blunt as he's got this down inside the 40 to the 39. And look, Garrett Blunt just does not go down easy. You know, from my experience as a defensive back, this was a difficult guy to try and tackle because of the force that he runs with and... He's not going to be daunted, no matter it's the first quarter or the fourth quarter, Brandon. Well, what shocks me about last year, 18 touchdowns. I mean, the yards were pretty good, 11-61. But when I think of New England, I don't think of a running back getting 18 touchdowns. You know, that, to me, it was the combo that made the 2016 season for him. Most yards in his career, most touchdowns in his career by far. And he's the type of guy that, hey, you want to give it to me inside the five? He doesn't believe anyone's going to stop him. So on fourth down, the left-footed Ryan Allen to kick it away for the Pats. And not what he was hoping for there as this will hit in the end zone for a touchback. Philadelphia getting sent to take the field. And they'll be looking to avoid what happened last time, which is punting the football. But when you look at how teams play the game, that complimentary football comes into play. How do I take care of my defense? How do I take care of my offense? Well, the defense is taking care of them in a lot of ways. Now it's time for the offense to jump things up and help their defense out. Give them a little bit of rest. Yeah, time, time for them to give them a rest. Took the words right out of my mouth. And they'll go ground game here with a tailback. And he's going to get this one across the 30-yard line. 11 yards on the pickup, and it'll be a Philadelphia first down. I know throughout his pro career, Ryan Matthews has been injury-riddled, but the best part of his game to me is his ability to break tackles and run with power and physicality. And a prime example of that right there on that play. So here we go, first and 10 now. Now flags come in here. Looked like one of the Eagles might have moved. First and 15 here behind the chains. A handoff 
off as they run the counter play. And he'll fight forward to about the 27-yard line. They get one yard back there to make it second and 14. A one-yard gain could look like a disaster, but it all depends on how the game is going. Is it a series of one-yard gains running the ball? If that's the case, you might have to start thinking about throwing it a little bit more. But if it's just the occasional one-yard run, hey, congratulations to the defense. They won that one. Come back and get them the next time. Play clock winding down. On second down, Ryan Matthews. And he'll get about four across the 30 to the 32. Two Patriots there to bring him down. It's been a struggle this entire game trying to move the ball on the ground. But every now and then, you find a little chink in the armor, and that type of run right there lets them know that they can't stop every single run for almost no gain. All right, here we go now. Extra defensive back in there on third and two. No, 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 check that, check that. Now Wentz on third down, and he dropped it. Now it was tipped, altered the ball a little bit, but he dropped it, and now fourth down. Well, we're not playing three yards in a cloud of dust football anymore. I kind of get why those old-school coaches sometimes didn't want to throw the football, because if it's popped up in the air, it almost turns into slow motion, and both sides trying to get to the football, and you're holding your breath wondering whether it's going to go good or bad for your team. And now a low liner. I think he mishit it. A special teams mistake there, no doubt. Just 26 yards officially on the punt. Here come the Patriots again on offense, the Super Bowl champions. And, boy, they have been able to do it a lot of times, Charles, with unsung heroes, haven't they? Look at the names that led them through the playoffs. Hogan. White, Lewis, guys you just wouldn't think of. Yeah, Deion Lewis, a fifth-round pick. Three touchdowns against Houston in the divisional round. Chris Hogan, undrafted. He ends up having 180 yards in receptions, including five plays of 20 yards or more against the Pittsburgh Steelers. And how about James White, a fourth-round pick out of Wisconsin. Think about who he played behind while he was at Wisconsin. And he turns out to be the unsung hero of the Super Bowl. Would have been the MVP if it wasn't for Tom Brady. And you mentioned James White at Wisconsin. He was behind who? Melvin Gordon and Monte Ball, right? That's correct. Gronkowski's got it on the crossing round. A big play. Brady to Gronkowski. 52 yards. Ah, yes, Brady to Gronk. You think these two are in sync? Without a doubt. And look, they both understand what they can do for each other. Gronk knows if he gets open, the ball's going to be there. And Tom Brady knows what a great security blanket Gronk is. When all else fails, you find big 87. And the next snap coming inside the red zone here. They come out here in the eye. Snap comes at one, and it's Brady. That is caught at the seven-yard line. And he'll get blown up behind the line of scrimmage. Back at the six. That's going to go as a loss of four, and it'll be second down. On second down, here's Brady. Trying to squeeze it in Edelman, and it's intercepted. Picked off by the veteran, Leonis McKelvin. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. Here's the Philadelphia offensive unit now as they head out to take over possession. And last drive, three and out. Still a goose egg on the scoreboard. How do they break that goose egg? They've got to find a way to get the ball in the hands of their playmakers, get them some space and try to make a first down and get some momentum going. It's been a struggle for them throughout the game, and that three and out on the last possession, that told you just how stalled they are on offense. So who will step up here? We'll see. I'm ready now for second and nine. there as he gets it up to about the five-yard line. Just a couple on the ground there. That's going to bring up third and about six. Two minutes remain in a scoreless first half. Back to Foxborough after this. Near the goal line, here's 
Twins. And complete to Zach Ertz. They stop him for only three that time, and that'll bring up fourth down. I think that call was made not so much to try and get the first down, although <laughs> they would have taken it if they could have gotten it, but to give their punter a little bit of space and try and help out their defense. Yeah, they got the safe completion on third. NFL teams last year, a little under 50% on fourth down conversions. This is a bit tougher. Fourth and four. Blue lining. Blue lining. Right there, 54. Right there, 54 Mike. Looking to jam the receivers at the line here. Press coverage look defensively. And with a play clock running out, Doug Peterson decides to take a timeout. It's just their first, so they'll have two remaining here before we get to halftime. Here's Donnie Jones now as he's on to punt for Philadelphia. He's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. It's fielded at the 45. A good return there. Call it 13 yards. Okay, partners, New England comes out here to take the field on offense. This is such an interesting story, how they've been able to do it year after year after year. Guys talk about parity in the NFL. Well, New England has kind of transcended that parity, and they've done it with guys that you don't normally think of as household names. The parts keep changing for New England. That's the amazing part on offense, right? Offensive linemen change, receivers change, running backs change. We know the one constant is Tom Brady, and that's a huge deal for them. But to be able to do it in what you call the parody times, and you're exactly right, everyone's supposed to be pretty equal. You know, England's still a top 10 offense Number year two. in and year out. In 2016, they were number four, and that helped, that helped them with the number one ranked defense as well. Wait, 20! Wait, 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 Looking back to the air on second down, it's Brady. Slant round, caught by Edelman. And he's going to get it down to the 33-yard line here. That one good for 10 yards. And that'll bring up what looks to be a third of inches. Can't be more than a half a foot. On play action, now Brady. And this is going to be incomplete. Gronkowski, the intended target. And that'll bring up a fourth down. Really good, smart play by the defense, understanding third and short, guarding the first down sticks, and being able to make a play on the football and bat it down. Goskowski now for the Pats field goal try. They'll put it, and the Eagles are going to go ahead and take another timeout. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. Goskowski now for the Pats field goal try. They'll put it down right at the 40, so call this a 50-yard attempt. And this time he's got the hookup. It's complete. And all the way in. Touchdown, New England. And that touchdown gives them a touchdown lead before they attempt the extra point. What a great way to end the half. Yeah, great job to put themselves in front, and now see on the sideline special teams defense scrambling saying we want to preserve this for the final moments of this second quarter now Steven Goskowski on for the extra point and he gets it to make it seven nothing Patriots Goskowski now after the touchdown he'll send this one away this is taken about seven yards deep. And he will be brought down here at about the 17-yard line. The Eagles offense now gets set to head back onto the field. And the ball backed way up. So thinking with this amount of time on the clock, probably just sit on it, and we'll see these two teams go to the lockers. Yeah, I don't think you want to overthink it in this situation. Either side of the ball. Just go ahead and finish up the half and get on out and talk about it.
One receiver left, two to the right. Now let's go! Throwing on first is Wentz. He's going to let this one go deep. And it drops down incomplete. Thought he might have had it. Instead, second down. And when all else fails as a defender, when you're not there in the coverage, your best friend is exactly what we saw there. A big play shot taken by the offense. Unfortunately, it ended in a big drop. Two receivers left, one to the right. Now let's go! Blue lining! Blue lining! Watch the screen! Watch the screen! Watch the screen! Watch the screen! Wentz again here on second and ten. He's going to try and go deep again. And both guys were there, but it falls incomplete. One thing I know from experience is that when the deep ball is thrown and you're the defender, you've got to fight that little bit of panic that emerges. You've got to play the ball really well. It's a 50-50 jump ball play. And guess what? They took a shot. How are you going to win it? And in this case, they managed to get it done. An extra corner on the field for New England here on third down. Yeah, another DB. Now Wentz on third down. And this is going to be caught along the sideline. Nicely done, but right at the line of scrimmage. Nothing doing on that one, and it'll be fourth down. Love the effort. Love the dramatics. Getting the feet down. How about a little step shuffle along the sideline there? Almost like a great ballet dancer or a tap dancer. All for no gain, though? I was going to say, it's so pretty, <laughs> and it gets you nothing. <laughs> Oh, it's a wobbler here. Just a 25-yard punt. Not what he was hoping for by any stretch. And possession will change here with very little time remaining until halftime. Cut his left. Cut his left. Three down, three down. Let's go! Brady now on first down. Screen pass to Blunt. And he'll go down here at the 35-yard line. Time for a break. We've hit halftime. Two quarters down. Two still remain. We step aside. This is the NFL on EA Sports. So both teams have their marching orders, and we'll get going again here in quarter number three. Danny Amendola on the return. And nice work on the return as he'll start their drive just past the 30-yard line. And now out come the Patriots. They have the lead. Now they'll be looking to extend that lead. And this is where I enjoy talking about one of my favorite subjects, tendency breakers, or counters as I also like to call them. You've done things in a certain way in the first half, and they've had an ability to see what you've done. They're going to make their adjustments. So guess what? You adjust yourself and try and stay ahead of the pace because you are looking for some separation in this ball game. The adjustment to the adjustment. Without a doubt. <laughs> show them one thing, hit them with something else. Move 20! Wait, 20! On second down, here's Brady. Going underneath to Blunt. And he's able to take this one up to the 35-yard line. It'll be a gain of four. And that's going to lead to a third down. I know most of the time when the ball's in the air, you're thinking wide receiver, tight end. But running backs, they can be a big part of any passing offense nowadays. Throwing his Brady on third down. Got a man. It's Amendola. And he's taken down at the 43, but not before picking up the first. But give the defensive guys a little bit of credit. They didn't let the deep ball beat them on that play, did they? No, the, the drag, that guy can be your safety valve we saw right there. Yeah, and it picked up a first down for him, too. Three down, three down. Blunt, the lone running back. Wait, 20. 58, boys, 58, 58. On first down, Brady. And he's got Edelman on the out route. That's complete. 17 yards on the pickup there, and the drive will continue. That was a nice completion on an out route, and those types of plays are the result of arm strength by the quarterback and timing by the receiver. Now to Blunt, and he'll 
take this one down to the 36. Call it a gain of four on first, and that'll make it second down. Not a run that you're going to write home about, but still a good first down run. That's what an offense calls staying on schedule. Three to four yards on first down. You're set up very well for the rest of the drive. Coming for you, son. I'm coming for you, son. On play action, it's Brady finding time. He's going to, and he fires one that's intercepted. Picked up by Malcolm Jenkins. And he's going to return it to the 21 yard line. So here are the Eagles now as they get set for their first possession of the second half. And still no points on the scoreboard. You're coming off of the three and out. They're just looking for anything to grab onto right now, aren't they? I'm wondering if someone's going to take charge in the huddle. You know, we always look at look to the quarterback, but sometimes it's another player on the team, a star, a veteran, someone with some excitement and energy. It's like, all right, guys, let's shake things up and let's go because they still have an opportunity to make things happen. Shake it off. They'll try to get the running game going with Ryan Matthews. And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. Two Patriots there to bring him down. Tough day, tough sledding right there, and it's been that way the entire game. Not a whole lot of room to ramble for him. Yeah, you're right. It's been that way all afternoon. Didn't get a whole lot better there. Second down, here's Wentz. Ertz has it left side. And he'll get this up to the 34-yard line. They pick up 12 on the play there, and they move the chains. When you execute a drag or a crossing route really well and give them a chance to let it develop a little bit, you can gain some significant yardage hitting your tight end on that one. Other right when he flinched, we knew that that flag was coming. Yeah, offsides, easy call, mark off the five, and keep no it problem. moving. You don't want no problem for me. Tight end right. Tight end right. Four down, four down. Set. Boom. Let's Possible it. run anticipation hey. here as the D line sandwiches hey. together. They give it to him right up the gun. And he's swallowed up right near the line of scrimmage. No gain there on first and five, and it leaves him with a more standard second down. They're trying to establish that running game, but they're really, really having trouble, aren't they? Yeah, when you're running against a really good 4-3 defense, that means you've got big guys inside who control things. Those big defensive tackles are making it very difficult to find open space. Tenth carry now for Ryan Matthews. And he'll push this forward only to about the 42-yard line. Still a couple yards short of the first as the three-yard game brings up a third down. play typifies what we've seen from the offense all day long. They've had no success getting things done. And now a fumble. The ball's out. And it's picked up by the Patriots. And it's a big turnover there on the final play of the quarter. Back now in Foxborough. We get set for the fourth quarter. Patriots have the lead. They also have the football. Really nice starting field position here for the offensive unit. doing barely able to muster a yard to hit the 35 tackle made that time by brandon graham and in this situation with the lead fourth quarter they're liking keeping the ball on the ground i'm sure that's just smart football but you know the defense has to know it as well they've got to stop them here so now we're going to see that loading the box in a big way six seven eight nine whatever it's going to take now look at this they get the turnover they need it it's intercepted picked off by malcolm jenkins and he returns it here to his own 18 yard line philadelphia getting sent to take the field and a fumble last time ball security talk about it all the time in the national football league they've got to be better at it on this track 
Don't you think that when every team gets together for the first time, I don't care if it's OTAs, mini camps, first and first day of camp in the regular season, ball security comes up about what the second sentence of the coaches yeah. address? And there's like so many drills focus on that. All the time, and they do drills to make it even tougher to simulate game situations. Doesn't always work out, though. It's a seven-yard carry to set them up with a second and three. First play of the drive. Let's give credit all around. Excellent blocking. But a guy carrying the ball, he was the finisher. A really nice run. All right, here we go. 319! 319! They'll give it to him right up the gun. And they'll take him down at the 31-yard line. It's a pickup of six and good enough to move the chains. So many teams want to throw the ball in this situation nowadays, but I love watching a team that has enough confidence to go ahead and run the football in that situation. That's almost a tendency breaker. Blue 90! Blue 90! Hot! Wild Bill! Wild Bill! And they'll run it here. And he'll be tackled at about the 35. It's a pickup of four, and it'll bring up second down. We always like to talk about defense in terms of levels. First level defensive line, second level linebackers, third level defensive backs. On that run, that was what we call a first level run, and it was stopped by a second level player. They'll give it to him right up the gun. And unable to get downhill there as he'll take this up to about the 37. Two yards a game there, and now they're left with a third and about four for a first. And this defense looks for one more stop here on third after the run. All right, here we go. Blue 90! Blue 90! They'll run it with Sproles. That'll make it fourth down after a loss of one. And that's another stop for the defense. Something we've seen all game long, they have been on fire today. No matter what's called by the offense, they've had an answer for it. And he deserves a bronze leg as he gets this one away. Fielded just inside the 20. Eight yards on the return following a punt of 41. And the Patriots take over. Out comes the New England offense to see what they can do this time. And with three interceptions thrown already, we'll see. Do they, do they rely more on the ground game here? They may have to change things offensively to try and settle things down, not just for the guy throwing the ball, but for the rest of the offensive. And now the Eagles going to signal for a timeout. It's just their first. They'll be down to two remaining as we step aside here in the fourth quarter. And at this stage of the game, time a factor, time on their side as they just try to eke out the final precious moments of this one. On first and 10, here's Brady. Screen pass to Blunt. Uses this stiff arm. Time for a break. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little game. We'll come back for the electrifying conclusion after this. Brady gonna look to throw. Out to the flat, that's complete to his running back. And he'll get it down here to the 43. And the Eagles are gonna go ahead and take another timeout. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. I got a left, I got a left. Single, 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 single. To throw is Brady. To the right side, and he's got Edelman. And brought down, but able to get it to their 30-yard line. Give them 13 on the pick up there. And it'll be first down, New England. Now hang on here, timeout called. Timeout called by the defense. That'll be their third and final stoppage here as we step aside. Here we go, here we go. Tight right, tight right. Wait, 20. Here's one. And he'll take this down just shy of the 25-yard line. And give him four yards there. It'll be second and six. On any running play that's called, they're always hoping that it's going to break big and go the distance. But when you get a nice game like that, you're able to do so many things anyway. You can come back and run essentially the same play again, continue to move the ball on the ground, or you can decide to throw the ball now because usually you have the defense back on its heels. Again, here's one. 
Down right around the 25. Only a yard of the pickup there, and it'll bring up a third down. Well, so many times we look at a short run and we praise the offense for trying to set the tempo and establish things, but the defensive guys, hey, they just won the battle there. It wasn't a big run given up. They don't always have to absorb the body blow. Sometimes they dish them out themselves. Now a former fifth round pick of the Eagles. This is Deion Lewis. And he's going to have a first down here as he gets this one to the 17 yard line. On third down, that's a good job of situational football and understanding where the first down marker was and getting there. So it'll be first down here after the run. Three down, three down. Wait, 20! Here we go. Here we go. I got 29. I got 29. Fast, fast. Wait, 20! Wait, 20! 58, right over there. Now one. And they get to him quickly here as he stopped right around the 13. Call it a gain of four on first, and that'll make it second down. But if you're gonna have a relay race, you could probably gonna pick your backs and receivers to run it, but don't underestimate the conditioning of the offensive line. They're out there just dictating things, staying on the field, and keeping a long drive going. And the storyline of this one, Charles, no doubt the number zero. Zilch, nada. A shutout so hard to do in the NFL. It really is, and what an accomplishment because you feel that not just on the defensive side, but as a full team. There's a lot of pride that goes into shutting out an opponent. And how about that zero on the scoreboard for them going along with those zeros in the time column, too? So that's a wrap for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon, and this has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. For more, check us out at easports.com. The Patriots winners here at home as we say so long from Foxborough.